Hello everyone and welcome to Technical News. In this video, we will see how to create a self-signed certificate. So you know the certificate are used to communicate with other services securely or other application in a secure manner. So definitely in production, uh, you purchase or uh, get the real certificate, but for the development and testing purpose, you might need a temporary certificate that you can create your own. So you can create the self certificate uh, by running uh, these set of commands that you can find in the description of this video. So the first command will create the certificate in local machine, and uh, then we will create a temporary password that we will put on this certificate, and then we will export and install on this machine. So let's see in action. So open the uh, PowerShell done as administrator. and copy this command and here you need to give the name of the certificate in our case let's say technical voice copy this command so in this command you will see that not after if you want to create an expired certificate for testing you can give a zero here that will create a expired certificate you can change it at months at you can also do it at days you can do it at years but in our case let's say at months and if you want to create an expired certificate for your testing just put zero here and create it so let's copy and run so this command will create a thumbprint okay let's copy this and paste it here and then create a password mm, the super secret password whatever you want but in our case let's say uh capital abc one two three abc okay let's generate a password hit the enter and now let's export the certificate and in this command copy the thumbprint and paste it here and the address of uh, the path of your computer where you need to uh, copy the pfx file of certificate let me name it technical voice okay and the password is that you have generated temporarily now let's copy and paste this will create a, uh, a certificate on, on the d path if you can see there is no certificate here let me run it so it has created and if you go to the d you will find it okay Let's copy and paste the desktop. Now, let's see how we can install it. It's very easy. If we go to the manage certificate, and if you see in the personal, there is no. Oh, this was one for more for my testing, but let me delete all these and let me run and install it current user or local machine i'm going to use in the local machine next next it will ask a password abc123 abc okay and next and you can put where you want to do let's say i'm going to open in personal next finish it's imported and if i refresh it you can see it has installed okay and if i click on it you can see the details and certificate path it's not in the trusted uh you can when you put in the trusted it will be a uh, interested 
uh, in the trusted route it will then display here that it is okay so in the details you can see the palette from this to this so this is all about how to create your self sign certificate you can also create your expired certificate just put uh, zero here it will create the expired certificate okay that's it for this video if you like the video please share and subscribe thank you very much bye bye